So here we've got a reef aquarium with some of the most beautiful pieces of coral you can imagine. And they're all opening absolutely spectacularly. And the corals are performing very, very well. Now the tank is run on a calcium reactor. So that's a pH meter. And we've got the calcium reactor here. So, and the, where's your CO2 bottle, Ross? So, we've got a CO2 bottle. And um, what happens is the, um, and is your probe in the reactor itself? Or in the, um, in the reactor itself? So basically what happens here is the CO2 is switched on by the pH meter. So when the pH um, raises in the um, side, the calcium reactor, then the CO2 switches on and the CO2 is going to dissolve the calcium carbonate um, dolomite um, which is inside the um, reactor and release calcium and carbonate into the water and during that process is inevitable that magnesium will be released as well but um, this is a very hungry aquarium and what I mean by hungry is the the, um, the demands on this water is really quite significant because of the sheer volumes of the coral that's in the tank so there's a lot of competition in this tank for light nutrients calcium and carbonate and all of that looks to be satisfied very nicely by how well the corals are all absolutely blooming but we're finding that it's just not growing coralline algae and so the suggestion is that though the magnesium isn't actually tested in this aquarium it's very probable that there there's not enough magnesium in the water and it's almost regardless of the tests because what you see is probably more important than what you test so regardless of what he tests even though that I'd be suggesting that the tests that when he tests them are probably going to be below 1200 but if he's going to start using a calcium a magnesium supplement he's already got some because previously he was using a magnesium supplement before he got the calcium reactor and his coralline algae was growing through the roof growing like crazy and now he's got the calcium reactor so he doesn't have to keep piling calcium into the water because this is a very hungry tank it does require heaps of calcium as you would expect with so many corals in the tank um, but the downside of the calcium reactor in this circumstance uh, besides the fact there's a whole tank full of happy healthy hungry corals is a lack of coralline algae so we're going to experiment with increasing the amount of magnesium and under almost all circumstances that's a really efficient way of increasing the coral and algae growth because at the moment it's not really getting any at all so I bet you if I come back to this tank in about three months um, this will not be an immediate or quick fix um, that I could betcha the nice beautiful pink coralline will um, establish the, the other thing too that can be deceiving with coralline is urchins have you got heaps of urchins? Yeah, if you do have a lot of urchins, sometimes urchins come and eat all the coralline, and you can spend your whole life trying to get coralline, but it's really just the urchins that are eating them. But um, that doesn't seem to be the case here. So increased magnesium can increase the amount of coralline algae you're getting. And the reason why you want the coralline is the coralline really just makes the tank look really finished, and it makes it look established, and it makes it look as one. Whereas this tank's really spectacular, but it does have a new look to it. It basically looks like there's a whole bunch of rock and there's a whole bunch of corals on top of them. Um, it's really well done. It's the, the aquascaping is beautiful. But um, that getting a nice rich growth of coralline will really finish this off. The other thing is the coralline will help to compete with noxious algaes. So if you don't have coralline, then something else is usually going to grow. So it'll usually fluctuate between light brown, which will be a diatom growth, um, green and potentially even red depending on what your nutrient levels are in the water so anyway put a little comment down the bottom and tell us what you think this, the, the camera really can't do this tank justice this tank in real life is actually way 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 better than what you're seeing in this picture